In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. We call to mind our sins. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you came to gather all the nations into the peace of your Father's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come now in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You'll come again in glory with salvation for your people at the end of time. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And we pray, O oh God, who restores to eternal life in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Raise us up, we pray, to the author of our salvation. Now ascended, seated at your right hand, so that when he comes again in majesty, those you have given new birth in baptism may be clothed with immortality. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night, while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half and taught the word of God among them. But when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews rose up together against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, This man is inducing people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Gallio spoke to the Jews, If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all seized Sosthenes, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal. But none of this was of concern to Gallio. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed for Syria, together with Priscilla and Aquila. At Sencrae, he had shaved his head because he had taken a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God is, God is King of all the earth. He brings people under us, nations under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God is King of all the earth. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You'll grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she's in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy. Joy that a child has been born into the world. 
So you also now are in anguish. I'll see you again. Your hearts will rejoice. And no one will take your joy away from you. On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. The Gospel of the Lord. I don't know if any of you were at the first communion celebration just last Saturday. So I had a crown that we used at the living nativity for one of the three wise men. Well, Gerard was there. And I said to the kids, I have this crown. Now, just recently, when did we see a crown used? And I was hoping that one of the kids, now they're only second grade, seven years old, would say when Charles was made king of England, which was only a week before, what does the one kid raises his hand? And I said, oh my gosh, one kid has the right answer. And a kid, kid said, Mary was crowned May queen. And oh my God, that was not the answer I wanted. But what can we learn from Charles's coronation that will teach us something about today's readings. And it's actually, it's a very important point. Did you know, and you ha everybody watched a little bit of it. Don't tell me you didn't watch some of it, even if it was five in the morning. How, how interwoven religion and politics are. Notice that his coronation took place in the church, Church of England, the Anglican Church. Go see Henry VIII and Thomas More. You know, the, the two are very closely interwoven. I believe he's also the head of the Church of England as well as the head of the, of the at least regally, the government, not the House of Commons, whatever. But, but he has, the two, the two are interwoven, religion and politics together. We are quite the opposite. And that's why we're on the opposite side of the Atlantic Ocean. When we inaugurate a president, it has nothing to do with religion. They do it on the steps of the Capitol. There is religion and there is politics. The exact opposite of what we saw that day. The exact opposite. And that's why we're Americans. The two are, are it's good when the two are kept apart from each other. And notice in that first reading that Dave read for us, as the church is beginning to grow, and they're giving Paul a hard time. They bring him before the local political leader, the magistrate, whatever. He says, I have nothing to do with this. This is a religious issue. You go take care of it. You Jews, you have a problem with this guy? Go to the synagogue, the temple, and take care of it. I have nothing to do with your religion. And politics and religion had nothing to do with each other. Had Pontius Pilate said, I'm a governor. I have nothing to do with religion. Don't get me involved. Well, there's the first station. Pilate is condemned to death, or Jesus is condemned to death by Pilate. Isn't it funny? But understand, Jesus didn't die because of Pontius Pilate. Pilate, if Pilate had been away that week, Jesus still would have died. Jesus gave his life away. He wasn't condemned to death, he accepted death. And in perfect love gave his life for us sinners. And in so doing destroyed the power of death forever for us who believe. The death of Jesus is about Jesus, not Pilate or whatever. It's, it's about perfect love from the Father and the Son who will now send us the Holy Spirit on Pentecost to build this thing that we call church where God reigns, not Charles, but God reigns. We wait Pentecost in nine days. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to the Lord. Our response is risen, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may grow in our awareness that Christ is in us and we are in Christ because the Holy Spirit dwells in us. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For government and business leaders, that the Spirit will help them in serving and promoting the greater good in their communities. 
We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Jeremiah Garvey, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Risen Lord, we do ask you to hear our prayers and keep us watching now for the gift of the Spirit anew on Pentecost. He who will help us build and renew your church. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care we may never lose what we have received, but attain gifts that are eternal, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, has ascended now to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world, Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident in following where he, our founder and head, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy every land, every people, exalting your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angels praise you, and we join them as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Resign in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, in the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Subrandi took a chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that 
partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We share a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Keep safe, Lord, we pray, those you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, we may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us, our families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.